The biggest misconception when you talk about skill development is being able to take the skills from practice to the games. So in this clip, I'm just going to show you a little uh, movement that we've been working on with my daughter and some other athletes. So we call this here a drop, but we're going to push off our inside foot, which is the left. And she's dribbling down. She's going to take a hard pound right here. Inside foot is your lead foot. She's going to pound it. And she's going to get into a drop. Left foot goes back, right foot forward. So here we have the option to step in to shoot it. We have the option to change direction or we could drive into a pull up. She's going to drive into a one drill pull up. And this this here will help when you got aggressive defenders on you. You want to keep them at bay. So now we're going to look at what does it look like in the game. So now here she's coming off a ball screen action here, right? And you're going to see once we slow it down. So right here she gets into a left foot step, inside step, into a drop. She's going to do it again as she gets closer. Right here, inside foot, pound, into a drop, bang. Left foot back, right foot forward. You see the ball getting into her pocket. Now she has the ability to attack as the defender steps up to her. And she drives, now she's going to have the option. And now she got to read the three levels. So she reads the tag kick out to the corner for a three. So when, whenever you're training, you just want to make sure that your training mirrors what can be applied in the game. Because if we're just training with no purpose and we're not training on skills that we can apply in the game, then we're wasting time. Never waste your time. Always maximize your minutes when you step on the court, whether it's practice or it's games. But you have to build a foundation. I'm Coach Green your basketball skills coach. Click that like button, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video.